Today I'm making ribs in the pressure cooker. I started off with putting the whole chicken broth in the pot. I put it on saute until I warmed up the chicken broth. Then I added my ribs in. Now I have it on meat stew for 32 minutes. I have harvest thick sliced bacon. I'm gonna cut them into small pieces and fry them in a frying pan. So in this bowl, I have a half a cup of rice. My bacon's coming along. I cut up a small onion into small pieces and I'm gonna throw that in with the rice. I also have a half a cup of rice in the pot cooking. Half a cup of rice, one cup of water and butter. I put my bacon in a bowl and a paper towel to drain some of that grease. I added a pound of hamburger to the rice and onions. Throw in some seasoning salt, Montreal steak spice, lemon pepper, and cumin. I'm going to mix it all together. I added one egg and I'm also adding the bacon. I'm mixing it all together and then I'm gonna make meatballs and put it in the frying pan. Cooking in the same frying pan, I just added a little bit of oil. And cook it on in between four and five. Cook them on all sides until brown. Cover them up when you're frying them. Make them cook faster. I take my spoon. Make sure that they're able to move in the frying pan. Now that I did that, all of them are moving. I'm going to test a meatball to see if it needs to be cooked more. Looks pretty good to me. I transferred my meatball from the frying pan to the dish. And the rice that was um, at the bottom, I put in here, it's burnt. Don't throw it out, put it in here. And the meatballs were ready. They taste really good so far. From the bowl, if you have any leftover rice or onions or anything like that, milk, throw it in the frying pan, cook it up and throw it in the pan. All that good stuff is going in here. I forgot to mention, if your meatballs fall apart, don't worry about it, let it cook the way it is. It's gonna taste good. Even when I added the egg to it, it made it a little too soft to fold it together. You can always add bread from our crackers. Show you what my ribs look like. I also season them with Montreal steak spice. I'm going to take them out and let them cool on a rack. I'm making sweet and sour sauce, so I'm using one cup of pineapple juice, half a cup of brown sugar. Goes into the pot. Three tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of white vinegar, a third cup of ketchup, mix, a pinch of salt. Oh, I put the stove on eight. Keep stirring. I'm going to let it simmer once it comes to a boil. Keep stirring it. I have two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm just going to add a little bit of water and mix it. This is just to thicken the sauce. I'm adding the cornstarch. Put the stove on low. My sauce is ready, so I'm just going to pour it in. I'm throwing my meatballs into the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. My ribs are done from the Instapot, took them out. I have them on my other tray. I'm putting them in the oven. I've been putting barbecue sauce and honey chipotle rum barbecue sauce. My ribs are ready to go into the oven. The juice I made the ribs in, I'm going to throw my potatoes in here. 
you can think of this like you're making soup because it's got the meat. You're just adding the potatoes. My potatoes are ready. This time I put them on five minutes and they came out perfect. For supper, I'm having spare ribs, three pieces of potato, mixed vegetable, my homemade beet balls with bacon in them, rice, sweet and sour sauce, my homemade bread, one piece of garlic toast, and Dr. Pepper to drink.